so but I have fresh I'd have to roll shadow if you want to try and sneak away <laughs> and find time uh, when you're alone. You're now Chicote from Sally Star Trek. Couldn't he just yes. be washing the desk and just plug it they're, in? They're going to notice if I I could go to the bathroom beforehand and cut the thing out of my arm and then plug it in. Oh, that's right. You also have to cut it out. Yeah, but I also have to find a time to cut it out. And so like. Uh, so what I would assume I would do is be in the bathroom, okay, where I hope the there are no cameras. <laughs> no, there are okay. no cameras in the bathroom. And then so, like, Pat, you're on the phone, like walking them through this, right? Trying to yeah, make sure he doesn't they hit a major artery. That, that would be great. That would be. We have the telecommunication, <laughs> telecommunication devices. I can't. It's not like this is surgery. This isn't like oh, cut the red wire. That's a classic no, like, TV when, trope. When you medically import or like. Inserted it into his arm, you coached him on how to remove it safely that, as a part of this process, just, or else it doesn't make so any first, sense. No, it wouldn't need to because basically, if you look at how your wrist looks already physically, yeah, it would, basically, it there's would no just, room in it there. Would, it, there's no room, it would just be a bulbous thing if you just make a vertical cut in the middle of the thing. If you have shaky hands or you drink too much coffee, I can't help you. Yeah, Basically, right. it's 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 a capsule right here. You just cut along the slit and you pop it out. Whatever. Yeah, I'm a tough it. bastard. You Let's do, do this. Yes. All yeah. right. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom at a time when I'm alone. Make sure that I get a lot of paper towels. <laughs> and some duct tape. And s- duct tape. What do you yeah. know? Yeah, yes, the, the paper tape towels it back on? up. No, that's not. No, in case just he messes up. The, the, yeah, they gotta have like it's masking tape. Be yeah, or band aids. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cut like. Why would you use duct tape? Funny. All right. I'm just thinking like you're out in the. No. And then no, and then and then <laughs> cut the and then cut the thing out of my wrist. <laughs> you stand above a toilet, but the paper towel is on the top of the thing. Yes, I feel like this is exactly how Sam does things. Right then, like, above the toilet it. water. Yep. No. Roll a d6. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm oh dead. my gosh. It falls in the toilet. It's a one. It doesn't fall into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand it slips. Okay. You cut one of the veins. Shit. You're, bre- you're bleeding profusely. Okay. <laughs> I'll stamp it down with the towels. Bagwell, so Bagwell put it a little too deep. <laughs> no, don't no, blame no. the doctor. He rolled good. He rolled I was fine. He rolled a four, which means a success, but complications. I'm going to stamp this it. No, that's a three. three. Four is just no, 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 a success. No, no, no. So wait, did he get it out? Four has just made it. You did it, but somehow a complication oh, appears. Okay, yeah. This is the complication. Where roll a d6 on a one. If you uh, bleed. Okay, but I get the but I get the thing out. You get the thing out. Okay. But you're bleeding a lot. That's fine. So I get the thing out. I'm gonna wipe it off. All okay. right. And wrap it and wrap this as tight as I can it's in paper towels. A lot of towels. blood. Okay. Yeah. And duct yeah. tape, I guess. <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of blood, but I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay. And you have a first aid kit as part of your janitorial. Yeah. Stuff. Sure. You're in the bathroom. Okay. There's tons of paper there, towels. Yeah. Wrap it up and stuff. Do it the best I can with the first aid kit. I'm guessing it's still bleeding. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, you do just to make it very tight. Yeah. Just make it the... just just cut off if I was just I can. Then I'm gonna tuck my arm into my janitor's coat. Okay. okay. And right. as quickly as I can, make my way to a port where I can plug this thing in. Okay. Just... Um. So you are on the, the first floor ring. Okay. So you walk out of the first floor ring. There are a couple panels there, but there is a guard to your left that's watching over the hallway. There has to be other panels somewhere where there's no guards. There is no place where there's a panel and no guards. And no guards? All right. It is a heavily guarded government facility. Okay. So the guard's there, right? Yes. So I stum- I put the thing in my pocket, mm-hmm. and I stumble out of the bathroom and go, oh, jeez, and I, like, pull up, pull up my bandage, th- my wrist and stuff, and I go, oh, man, you got to help me. Can you go get some help from the medics? I just cut myself. Damn, yeah. Damn thing. I was trying to get my dang... I, I just it's a multi-tool just just hold go, on there go let get me, me some help please let me call the medic I need a medic in uh first floor hallway by okay. sector uh C okay and then like so two questions kicks are ubiquitous and everyone knows where they are right yes so does this look immediately like he is trying to kick, cut his kick out uh, well, the guard notices it's at the kick location, but it's not obvious that he was cutting off his kick. Okay. Because, I mean, and he doesn't know anything. Because it's like, who who cuts your kick location? Yeah, I know. It's, it's like, like, what are you doing? All right. No, so it was a medic multi-tool malfunctioning. Eventually no, comes over the other... and says, here, let me take a look at your wrist. No, it's not. They got there that fast? 
Well, it's the first yeah. floor. The medic's just like a hallway. The, the medic's just like a, a hallway. <laughs> Your cars don't work on Phoenix. This is not the trailer pod. You're like another floor. Well, shit. Okay. Yeah, sure. And he okay. looks it over and is like, uh, whoa, how did this happen? I was just, I was trying to get my multi-tool out and it cut me. Sorry. Can you, can you patch it up for me, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, get you over to the, uh, to the, um, my medic station. Okay. So he brings you over to the medic station and, um, he sits you down and he starts patching you up. And eventually he steps out, and you are in the medic station alone. Is there a panel in the medic station? There is a panel in the medic station. Cool. That was a gimme. I plug like it in. Like every there. good doctor, he leaves you alone for a long time. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> that's what we do. Here, stop bleeding for a second. Cut your wrist. I'll go, like, he, he shout out the nurses. He went off to grab some, like, papers. Oh, okay. Sure he did. It is surprisingly oh. true. I've been yeah, in my doctor's office lunch. with the computer on yeah. so yeah. often. Uh -huh. all the I'll, <laughs> I'll step around like the back, where, not the front USB port where it's really obvious, mm. the back one, yes. oh, yeah. and plug it in. So the humongous amounts of blood stains were at least not the obvious immediately. I mean, I imagine at this point, you know. Okay, you there's already in, blood everywhere. You plug in a bloody USB to the doctor's No, computer. he used his paper towels to, and to he, hold he the USB. He stated he wiped it off. Fine. My God. Wiped off. Completed. I mean, to be honest, whether or not it's bloody or not isn't going to make much of a difference as they find a foreign object plugged into the yeah. computer. So... The only no, important thing is that they, they can... can't Don't immediately... It, if they can't tie it to you and you're in danger... <laughs> I guess. Oh, whatever. Anyway, it's in there. Okay, so that's the best I can do with rolling a watch. Access to the medic's computer. If they, oh, they might find it, okay. but if they find it and immediately tie it to you, the janitor who has been medically treated and whose DNA is in the system, then they probably figure it out anyway. Yeah, there's access no way he can wipe all the blood off. No, oh, sure. tons of people see the medic. Every, it just no, happens. Never mind. Anyway, Stuff happens. It's, it, we hope we, we're gonna just hope that they. Don't. There's a good yeah. medical the, plan. Look for all these people. They're gonna find out. Okay, this is a heavily guarded government facility. They're going to find out. It's just a matter of when. What are they gonna find out? That, that there's a USB connected to the back of the computer. That and that there's a whole yeah. plan going on. Like they're no. gonna figure it out. No. They're okay. gonna okay. figure it they're, out. They're, right. they're, they're a very secure institution, but they're, it's also run by the government. <laughs> I mean, it's also like so, everyone's error. bad at the job. I can't remember the last time I looked at the back of my work computer. Really? Was the last time you looked at the back of your work computer? Uh, like Thursday. But I, I, I was. Uh, yeah, I mine's, was, mine's a laptop. Like, from so. the oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, never. that's done. I wait for the doctor to come back <laughs> no, to patch me up. And I even have okay. a work. Yeah, Henny returns oh. with like. Oh, that's right. You. I mean, we with all some paperwork it, to fill out and same. all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's like. Sorry, buddy, this is just routine stuff. Have you experienced uh, a malfunction like this before? Uh, no. First time. Okay. I'm actually very disappointed. Gonna have to get this thing checked out. What? Where'd you, uh, where'd you get the modification from? Oh, um, San Cisco. Back in there. Uh, I'd, like, rattle off the name of some, like, well, <coughs> I don't know. The, of what the it? only... Freedom Corp. <laughs> Freedom Corp. Freedom Corp may have done it for me. That's why I never get American-made modifications. Yeah? Not good? Yeah. Mm. Just too rustic, too. I don't like them. too traditional. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all about that Japanese. Uh, 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 See, you have to look in your notebook for the corporation uh, uh, names. Because uh, there's so many of I them. I pulled one out of the air. Because it's Freedom Corps. That's a gimme. <laughs> I was gonna say Bob's uh, multi tools uh, that cut, go. but that didn't really. <laughs> ah. That's why I always buy Komatsu microelectronics for my modifications. <laughs> right. Well. Thanks for the thanks for the spiel and the wrist yeah, patch up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should be able to go back to uh, regular work. Although this is a bit of an odd cut, it looks like it came from the outside, not the inside. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Maybe it uh, jiggered or something on the way out. I, I don't know, Doc. I guess. Do you have a knife as part of your multi tool? I mean, I I would. I, do. I'm, ask, I'm asking you as a, as the GM. I would, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh, maybe <coughs> it, uh, maybe it got you as it came out. Might have been. I just gotta be careful the next time. <laughs> Thanks. I think I. Yeah, oh, I right. think it nicked a vein there or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and your insurance will be charged. And. Uh, yeah. The bill will be. In the Might want to send a janitor to that bathroom too. Hey, look at that. I am one. I'll go clean it up. Very good. All right, and you're all set. Sweet. And uh, you leave. God damn it. <laughs> no, sweet. All right, so Sally's got access. Yeah. Easy peasy. Flawless. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do it.
Can we find easy. out from this computer? I realize sending you to the medic was maybe a little too mean. <laughs> no, that's that's perfect. That makes perfect sense. Okay. This is uh, how we'll succeed. We'll yeah, use the Inspector yeah. Clouseau method. It's like, <laughs> okay. We're Good so one. incompetent, we couldn't possibly <laughs> I just fail. I love it. Okay, so <laughs> you have I'm access to the love. medic's computer. <laughs> Okay. Just flail about um, and then bring the dog. Which means you have case. access to the upper military files. Oh, okay. So, uh, and also the medical files, which the medic, of course, would have access to. And insurance information. And uh, let's see. And I think that's just about it. Okay. Right. Does the so medic have clearance to go down? down? If there's, like, a medical emergency in the field in mm-hmm. Yes, the medic would have uh, clearance to go down all the floors. Okay, sweet. However, that's his clearance, not the computer. Okay, so it's not yeah. like we generate a medical emergency and the computer's like, okay, you can go down. Oh! Uh, if yeah. one I mean, of us does, was certified it, as a medic. It does also track medical emergencies, yeah. Okay. You all also have connection to the medical emergency system. Okay. Well, that was actually that more helpful than I thought it yeah. was. Like it I didn't even realize. Just yeah, trigger that makes random sense. medical emergencies throughout the building, and yeah. everyone can go there. <laughs> it's a smoke screen. <laughs> everyone is dying. It's just like answer. It reads out like Ebola, Ebola outbreak <laughs> on lower floor. Ebola. What? Zombie virus. <laughs> yeah, we got zombie virus here, oh. and like retrograde amnesia. And... <laughs> retrograde amnesia. Wow, you really <laughs> blew <laughs> that out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> So with this, can I yep. do a tech scanner throughout the building and see what kind of tech is here? Nope, a tech scanner is an actual device oh, that, you, is, have to that you use to okay. see tech around you. Oh, like but a with this, tool. I can get a map of the whole building and actually see uh, it's in there because you have you to You don't there. have a map of everywhere, you have a map of medic stations. Oh, okay. As in places where it would say there'd be medical emergencies, as in there's a medical emergency here, 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 or here, or here. Oh. As in, yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so you can use later, but not now. Okay. Are, I was like, so what are is we? Helpful? Are I we already see, on though, the premises? Who has at this point, then? This, we're still at the pre section, which is the stuff that Sam Faraday is doing. Do you want to do anything else before we've ever shown up? Before uh, we move on to when Daryl steps in, not that I can think of, other than like cleaning up the bloody bathroom and yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah well, um, at some point within the twenty-four to forty-eight hour period before the entire operation goes live, mm-hmm. either Sam or Daryl needs to acquire a security pass for Dust. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's oh, the, uh, but that that could be you, Daryl. Like, the only thing I can do is knock a guy out and take it from him. No, what you do is you steal it from someone who's going to be off shift on the day. Yeah, who's leaving? So that when they notice their pass is gone, they won't actually need it until they come back to work the following day. And you don't notice until you... Do Peter... Or do people not just take their ID badges with them? I guess not. No, they do. Oh, okay. But let's say you steal my ID badge on my way out the door. I go home. I throw everything down. It's like, oh, I lost my ID badge. I'm not going to call the office right away. I wait till I show up to work on my next work yeah, day. Really? Well, well okay, I feel like for this facility, no, the guys will like, yo, they might call I lost them. my ID badge, deactivate it. If, if you were the global community manager and you had access to the room where all the judge promos are, yes, you do. If you're the janitor, no, you don't. Hmm. Should have gotten the medics one. Yeah, yeah the janitor will just go also, like ask for a new one, too. It's also like, there, like access is usually needed to go in. You usually don't need a scan to go out. Mm-hmm. So depending on so, how people yeah, store their could, badges you, as well. You could very possibly like, not even notice. I, I, yeah. I store my badge on my belt. So for me, it's very obvious if it were missing. Some people also store them oh. in their purses yeah. or in their bags. And so they wouldn't even notice until like the next day when they try and pull it out if you think yeah. about the huge okay. number of spy shows where people steal people's badges on their way mm-hmm. out leaving yeah. work That's this happens no. all the time because most people just okay. never care to notice whether or not they have their badges yeah. with people, them long yeah. after they people are crazy, crazy kids. yeah it i so identify easy. somebody who doesn't right. do the like keys phone wallet badge so dance of pats yeah. when they leave any if room I ever <laughs> all right like we have been trained to do right i mean 
They're not gonna lock down the doors so nobody can leave. I feel like I should let Daryl. I feel like I should let Daryl right. do that. Oh, as long so as like it's not. If I were to trigger sure. a medical emergency down there, people um, could probably enter and leave. Us I don't right. Good you have for that feeling, moment. But I have yeah. show off. Yeah, you could you could pick you could pickpocket. Well, when some people off. they would have or to something. have medical clearance. Yeah. So okay, so what if we do something like, I feign stomach flu. Uh, knock out the medic, you trigger a medical emergency, I've got his badge, that gets me into the field med center. That I could do. Is do that you a, have is the capability a... to knock out the medic? Do you have, like, melee? Oh, you, yeah, I put, he has I the capability. We could. Okay, so, so one dice is not good. Well, okay, so I... <laughs> we, don't, we don't put put things on one die roll. Well, but we still have your turn to go, so mm. this next computer could give us some advantage somewhere as well. The, okay, let's... Oh, also, so I can put one in the nuclear reactor yeah. center. Let's yeah. just very quickly check the personnel record to make sure that the medic isn't also a Aikido hobbyist who happens to have three <laughs> dice That's in true. Like, hand-to-hand combat. Uh, sure. That doesn't require a Do we a need to knock out the medic to do this anyway? Information. Uh, the medic is a soldier, so he has gone through basic training. Okay. okay. So he would. So he does he have the, martial ability. The, the basic okay. martial ability. Okay. He's not a master so, of it because I mean he's not a fighter. He's a he's a healer. He's a lover. But uh, he's still a. <laughs> I just want to point medic. out that my All good right. friend Brandon is an army medic, and he is lethal. So yeah. So that's true. They know how to I heal. I get a list yeah. of because people of who have that. Sam. What's up? You could feign an upset stomach, go in there, knock him out, steal his badge, and then we both go or something like that. What was your question? For this computer, I, slip away and I could get access to sure. personal When the operation happens, just tell me when to has... go. All right. Oh, Ooh. you do know who's down there. Yeah, so huh? I know who has access to this uh, the per Okay, so there is one person, that two people, two people that have access to that room. Oh, okay. okay. The first one doesn't have a name. He is simply known as the caretaker. He's the guy that lives. <gasps> and okay. he is, you can see that he is totally 67, he has a heart issue, and uh, he has a prescription for some heart medication. Okay. And he's also mm. late for his next appointment. Um, you just have to the scare him and he'll die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, uh, <laughs> um, the second person is some, is some oh. high-ranking general which is uh, the the one in charge of the facility. Okay. So Can you see you do... access records? How often they go in and out, where they go? Uh, no. Okay. That'd be with like a security clearance. This is just, she's looking at the health mm. records. Oh, okay. Yeah, to see who has access and who doesn't. So <laughs> she's really mm. looking to see all the files oh. and see what the clearance levels of Can all of them I are. Can I see if it is that guy that lives in... No. See the one guy no, that no, no. lives there. Oh, yeah, there is a health record of that guy. Who's he? Uh, Jim Farley. Ooh. Just because I'm curious. He has uh, very, very little access records. Um, he just lives there. He, has, he comes in to see the medic very frequently. And there's a little note that says hypochondriac. <laughs> Perfect. See, I was just going to ask this when he was bleeding over the place, because I keep imagining that the people who work at this facility must have a really high incidence of mental illness. So there must be a suicide attempt at least once a month or something like that. It's like, oh, yeah, oh my gosh, there's yeah. another janitor trying to kill themselves. There's a couple. Yeah. It's not too bad because a lot of people go there to work. Very few actually live in the facility. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I would totally gone with the... But living in the facility. I couldn't take it anymore. It this is the third vomit that I've had to clean up today. I slit my wrist. But there's a theater and a pool. Yeah, they're not Could used they are, often. They're they not are for them. They're for us. That's, those were uh, modules put in for the bunker. Because it was supposed to be so like... not used by the soldiers. Live, live through the war in a high-class bunker. Yep. We have a theater where you can put on plays once a week. A pool so you can exercise and your very own indoor garden. Wait, the theater doesn't do movies? Oh, uh, yeah, I can do movies okay. as well. Yeah. You have to be entertained in the war or something. But, it'd be, but it does have a stage for... Yeah. It'd be Tyler hilarious if there was like an acting yeah. troupe who was scripted to be down here. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we should have done. We should have showed up as a traveling troupe. Putting on a show. An improv the... troupe. 
I mean, it's it's, it's where, a show within a show. It, it's where Bagwell's going to be giving off his presentation. Yeah. So oh, this yeah. might be right place at the right time, but can I somehow mess with Heart Guy's prescriptions for the day of everybody who's going to be here and change his pills? Like, you could, but the medic would probably notice. Okay. That he's also late, so he probably yeah. doesn't take his pills. <laughs> like, oh, he's probably bad at his thing. So he's gonna die anyway. That's okay. <laughs> I I like Masterson's idea. You just scare him. Show up with a mask. <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like takes his bed. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> old guy. Oh, my <gasps> left arm. <laughs> oh, my pride. Okay, so, uh, Sam, it doesn't sound like you're going to be doing anything Ooh, else. Just we continue uh, Janner and anything yeah. until the rest of the gang arrives. Yep. Uh, Daryl, you arrive so. for your first day of work. Yeah, I've got, I've got the, the schematic uh, in, in my, in my file. Your big old, like, fusion reactor maintenance bag yep. that you bring <laughs> with you. With, uh, with um, like... In inside of the tools, I have like the the computer. Yeah, you are things. able to hide it within yeah. the tools. Yeah. So spare brick of enriched uranium. Yeah. I go inside. Well, not for. <laughs> yeah, uh, getting in, getting in is pretty easy. Uh, yeah, I have, they, I have you know, my badge they for the for the reactor. To sign you off with the badge. You're able to go. You see the same thing that Sam saw, where there's a lot of guards at every corner, and you are directed to take the the first elevator on your left. That's the one that heads straight down to the uh, power center. Wait, he could just hide the USB thing in his tools? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a technician. Why can't I just hide the thing in my janitor tools? You the janitor you tools janitor are kept on tools. site. They're on, yeah. Could I put it in with my multi-tool? I guess you could have put it in the multi-tool. Gosh, dang! <laughs> All right. No, it added drama. It was good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Also, your well, multi-tools yeah. are tools. They're not electronic equipment. No, I know, but the the whole point was that the scanner would detect that. That's why I asked about it. No, yeah, for what it is, it yeah. would because okay, so I a couldn't screwdriver is a dead piece of metal. Right. Well, this, this is the cyber future. So then, yeah. how is it not uh, detecting it in his tools? Because, because he has tons of tools that actually tons of are tools electronic. That are specialized. Uh, okay. No much right, about. Right, right. It's also it also makes sense that a technician would bring in a USB. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you just have it sitting around. Yeah. yeah. No, you have like five of them in there. Yeah. Because yeah. you use them for all different things. Yeah.